Speak in such a way that others love to speak to you and listen in such a way that others love to speak to you. With this quotation, a warm and pleasant morning to all present over this morning assembly. Today, I'm standing in front of you along with my friends to host today's morning assembly. As we all know, no program can be started without remembering Almighty, the creator of the whole universe. May I call upon Zain Kazid of 10th B to recite Fatiha. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الظالمين آمين Now, prayed by Shaza Shirin of 9th B حردي راغ تندري ميتي स्नेह गीत मेगियु कर्म भूमि A good and inspiring thought can spice up our day. To inspire us with thought, here comes Isma Fatima of 8A. Hello, my name is Isma Zaheer and I'm from grade 8A. Today is thought of the day. Always end the day with a positive thought. No matter how hard things were, tomorrow's a fresh opportunity to make it better. I repeat, always end the day with a positive thought. No matter how hard things were, tomorrow's a fresh opportunity to make it better. Thank you and have a nice day. Now, Hadith by Basmat Ali of Plus 2A. Assalamu alaikum. An qatadat qala su'ilai ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu Hal kana sahabun nabiyya yawahakun Qala na'am wal imanu fi kulubihim arlamu minal zibal Qatada reported it was asked of ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu Did the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laugh? Ibn Umar said yes and the faith in their hearts was greater than mountains. Pledge is a way to show our love and respect towards a nation. Here we have a Zin Minna of 6th A for pledge. Pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people 
I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Jai Hind. Updating ourselves is a good and never-ending habit. Manha Muhammad Anwar of 9th A will make us a prize by today's news. Oh, good morning to one and all. I am Manha Muhammad Anwar of class 9th A with the news updates of this week. 7th June 2021 Punjab, Tamil Nadu and Kerala top education index ranking. Amul's managing director R. Sodi has been elected to the board of International Dairy Federation. 8th June Government will revert to centralized procurement of vaccines, says PM Modi. Prime Minister also says that the center will provide vaccines for free to all adults from June 21st. Pire Trnanauti has become the first Indian to be elected as the FINA Bureau member. 9th June Center places fresh orders for 44 crores of COVID-19 vaccine doses. President Ramnath Kovind on Tuesday appointed Anup Chandrapante to the post of election commissioner. Ranjit Singh Disale from Maharashtra becomes educational advisor of the World Bank. 10th June, Center announces hike in MSP for paddy, pulses, oil seeds. US World University ranking for 2022 has been released and there is three Indian institutions in top 200. 11th June, Assam declares Dihin Patkai as its seventh national park. Bihar in Fajing Row as COVID toll jumps by 72% after recount. One in nine healthcare workers got infected even after two doses of vaccination. 12th June, Flipkart partners with Telangana for the project Medicine from the Sky. Center unlikely to allow return of four Kerala women who joined IS. 13th June, New declassification policy gets null. Mukul Roy rejoins in the mood. GST brought down on 14 COVID relief goods. Now moving to sports news, boxing star Dinko Singh passes away. Wrestler Rinesh Fogart reaches 53 kg final. Indian squad gets vaccinated in Zagreb. That's all for today. Have a great day ahead. Now, message from our principal. Dear children, happy morning to everyone. It's almost two weeks since we have started the class. I hope that everyone is in right track and will be in correct pace with your lessons. As it is the start of a new year, you will have to be a little careful with the instruction of the teachers so that you will be able to understand all the concepts very clearly and you can move ahead without having further difficulties. One thing I have to tell you is avoid procrastination. Leaving something towards the end, avoid it. Some of the students have a habit of keeping things towards the end. Definitely they will find difficult in the later situations. So, whatever duty you are having, do it on time so that that will bring you success. People actually procrastinate things because of some reasons. Laziness sometimes, lack of confidence and even heaviness of the activity. All these cases, you know, you will have to be confident to do things and even you can break down your task into different different fractions so that it's easy for you to do completely within the stipulated time. So I once again entreat all the children to be in pace with all your activities so that you will attain success. I wish all the success to all my children for this new academic year. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Here we have our friends with various programs to keep us thrilled and entertained. Now, I welcome Nizma Yasin of 7D for a mind-blowing song. Udane kadu tinde daru kubapa Udayon tuna ille namukku papa Udane kadu tinde daru kubapa Udayon tuna ille namukku papa
Assembly Days First. Jai Hind.